All right, welcome back, people, to No Decorum. I'm AJ. I'm Daniel. And today, we have another sad story, as far as Utah goes. Yep, another sad story from Utah. Um, of course, the story took place a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, this happened, I believe, in 2019. Okay. And the video has just came out. And, and the ruling came out as well. Yeah. So, so a little background. What happened? So the police was called to an incident at the lady's work. Mm-hmm. The uh, her boyfriend had showed up to her uh, workplace. This is Chad Breinholt. Yes. Yeah. And uh, he was drunk. He had taken some pills. We were not sure what kind of pills he had taken. Maybe eight or nine. Eight or nine of them. And his girlfriend informed the police that uh, he may be suicidal, may need some uh, mental help, some sort of mental help. Mental help, right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so police... Uh, initiates a contact with him while he was uh, walking down the street and it stops and questions him and in that questioning he mentions that he drove over there yes so they they did their questioning and uh, decides to arrest him while arresting they did do a pat down and found no weapons. And a breathalyzer. And breathalyzer, yeah, of yeah. course. And he was drunk more than three times, the legal limit, which was about one point uh, one six. So he's impaired by alcohol and whatever pills he took. Yeah. All right. It's not in his right frame of mind. No. Okay. So that's been established. All right. They know this um, because uh, they asked him questions and. He gave them the information they needed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they take him back to the station. Yeah. And while they're processing him, uh, he falls on the ground. They, well, before that, uh, was it before or after the police uh, fire department was called? Uh, the, uh, I think it was after, right? It was after, yeah. They, yeah. He said his heart was you know, hurting or something. Yeah. So fire department was called and they came out and they checked him and they said there was his vitals were okay and and fire department is a uh, they're very good at what they do mm-hmm. but they're not mental health experts no and that was even brought up yeah that he had a yeah so they can check your vital signs and your pulse your, your blood pressure and yeah all those things can come back normal. While your brain is uh, totally out of whack. Yep, that's right. So they deemed him uh, medically fit for prosecution. Well, for booking anyway at that time. And the process goes on. It's a two-hour process. I mean, it took a long time. Yeah. Even though he, you know, he was clearly intoxicated by multiple things. And they let him sit there handcuffed for two hours. Yep. While booking, uh, they called uh, Officer Longman because these uh, officers were not uh, experienced in uh, DUI cases. And he was their sergeant also. And, and there were several police officers in the room, right? Yeah, there were several police officers that I could see in the in the video. Okay. So what happens next? Uh, what happens next? Yeah, so uh, he says, does he say he have a gun? He has a gun somewhere? Yeah, he he tells them that, you know, he's not in his right mental state, so yeah. he tells them he has a gun in his shoe. He's already been patted down. <laughs> yeah. I think he said he had one in his, in, oh yeah, in his shoe and then his pants. And I think the officer even suggests that he has one in his shoe. Yeah. You have one in your shoe also? He goes, yeah, I have one in my shoe. Clearly just, you know, echoing or parroting what the officer's saying, right? Yeah. Like, obvious to anybody. Then they want to check him. They want to check his shoe. They want to say, well, take your shoe off. Well, why? Why? You know there's not a gun in his shoe, right? Uh, it seems like there's maybe a struggle, although he's handcuffed. 
He's still handcuffed behind his back. Pardon me. Uh, and they do say that uh, he reached for one of the guns, right? Yeah. And the officer says something like, you're going to die here. He, there's a struggle, so they try to take him to the ground. And in that struggle, some officer yells, gun, gun. And Mr. Longman comes into the room and tells him that he was going to die today, my when, friend. When you you're going to die today. Sounds like you're saying he has a gun when you say gun, gun. That's generally what that means when someone says gun. Like yeah. Somebody has a gun. Um, that was not the case, but he was allegedly he tried to grab one of the officer's gun. But with his I hands don't know behind how. his back. Yeah. And these officers are not small people. They're very large men. Yeah. And this guy doesn't look very large at all. It looks, and plus he's intoxicated. And they're so fearful for their lives that he had to shoot him at point blank range, right? Not just shoot him, but tell him that he was going to die. Yeah, yeah. That's a little, little foreshadowing here. You're about to die, right? Yeah. And, uh, again, not, not Longman's first murder. Longman was just obliging what his wishes were anyway. Yeah, he wanted to commit suicide. Yeah, he wanted to commit suicide. So he said, why not suicide by cop? We should, we should say um, serial killer, Longman. Yeah. Not okay. officer, not sorry. Officer, yeah. yeah, he's a serial killer, actually. He's been involved in two other shootings. No, yeah, two other. Two other this, shootings. This yeah. was his third. Yeah, lucky number three. Yeah. Um, so it w this was put to the uh, district attorney, I think? Well, it was uh, investigated by the police. Obviously, yeah. By his friends. Mm -hmm. And they said he followed the policy by the book. Yeah, that's that's good. And uh, the shooting was justified. It seemed to be. Yeah. You watch the video. I mean, if you watch the video, this guy is very menace. I mean, he's a menace to the society. He's mentally impaired. Yeah. He's handcuffed. But yes, a room full of officers can't uh, subdue one person. That makes perfect sense. It's lunacy. Total lunacy. And uh, he got away with it. He was found to be within his rights. You know, following police guidelines. And this is two years later now. They've been investigating this. Yeah, war. and this attorney is still trying to decide whether to prosecute this guy or not. Well, he was. It's It's been decided. It's uh, Oh, did oh, yeah. it? About okay. two hours ago. Said, oh, okay. Uh, he's well in his rights. He's not uh, didn't do anything wrong. He said uh, the, the shooting is bad. Obviously, you should feel outraged about it, but nothing was wrong here. But he said the, the murder could have been averted. I guess he didn't say how, but, well, if they weren't so trigger happy, maybe. I don't know. If they weren't so fearful all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. I mean, yeah, there, there are many ways it could have been averted. Uh, at least the, yeah, at least the other police officer, was it in Minnesota, that lady officer at least said a tra taser, taser. Yeah. And shot the guy. Yeah. Yeah. So and this one didn't even do that. No, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. He knew what he was doing, and... uh and what a psychopath. Anyways, um, that's that's the caliber of people we have to worry about in these uh, law enforcement agencies. Uh, they're just, they're trigger happy, and there's no, obviously the, there's no price to pay, it seems like, no, uh, generally. I mean, and this is not even in the race issue. No, it's not. All the officers there were, as far as we can see in the video, they were all white. This guy is white. Yeah. I, it's just, uh, it's an issue of just, I mean, impunity. Yeah. Knowing it, that you can get away with it. And it's, it's that. It's the God complex. Yep. Uh, I am wearing the badge. I have the gun. I have all authority on you. And Basically, knowing he'll be backed up by the, uh, yeah, by the his, DA uh, his, his people. His friends in the department. Thugs in the department, I guess. Yeah. This is what you call the... Uh, Gang members with the badge, pretty much, and yeah, the legalized yeah. gang members. Yeah, that's yeah, it's actually pretty terrifying to watch the video. People should be outraged. People should be uh, out there saying, calling their lawmakers, calling their uh, senators and congressmen that these things cannot happen in a free country. Yeah. If you call yourself a free country, these things cannot happen. Police cannot shoot 
people while they're handcuffed and get away with it. Unfortunately, it happens too, too often. Yeah. I mean, police is not, police is a law enforcement agency, not judge and jury. Yeah, not assassins. Yeah. You know? uh, well, the family's suing. They are? Oh, yeah. They're okay. suing, and uh, hopefully they get some compensation. It's not the same thing as having their uh, son. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the only thing is uh, this: the compensation is going to be paid by the, most likely by the insurance company. Yeah. It's not going to be paid by that officer. Nope. So he really doesn't care. It yeah. should be, there should be a law where if this type of shooting happens and the city gets sued, they should come out of police officers, 401k plan, retirement plan, house, if he owns a house, cars, whatever. Children's college fund. Call it, yeah. <laughs> Everything, right? Everything. Anything yeah. that owns him, and whatever, it and should be out of their pocket, not insurance company or um, or the city's budget because we are individuals as we say we are responsible for our own actions we pull ourselves by the bootstraps wow talking points yeah we should be big boys and take responsibility once in a while i like your message aj it's one of hope <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the end of that story. There's um, there was no uh, recourse. There was no price to pay. Obviously, so fortunately, this happens too often. Until laws are changed, it's going to keep happening. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if it's black or white or brown. Yeah, you got to stay vigilant. No, and and um, keep them on their heels. So anyway, anything else? All right, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Uh, if it tells us that you like this material, and uh, we'll keep it up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.